Senator Dr. Rasha Kelej and creator of our Africa TV show. All Africa will be part of our show. The CEO of Mac Foundation. We want to support girls' education. Not to infiltrate the stigma, yes to girls' education. We want to stop gender-based violence for a stop. Number of child marriage will double by 2050. Hello. Wherever you're watching from, welcome to our Africa TV show. We see your feedback and we love it. Keep talking to us and we'll definitely uh, be communicating with you on our socials. This is Fashion with the Purpose. And joining me as usual is the amazing Senator Dr. Russia. Looking uh, flashy African. African brand, yeah, uh -huh, Brian. Thank uh -huh. you very much. I and, see that. Uh, I know that I am the CEO of Merck Foundation and my day-to-day -day business and very much, uh, you know, sometimes uh, engrossed in uh, too many logistics and everything but yeah. from time to time i like to dress up casual <laughs> casual a bit and uh, and uh, with my favorite designers african uh, yeah, print and really african amazing. designer i know that it's not african designer but it's an african print yeah and i like it really very that's much that's really incredible but it takes us to our uh, topic yeah. that we want to create a community of fashion with purpose yeah and we can we can have all the messages about awareness raising awareness about different yeah. topics uh, in uh, uh, Africa, like for example, breaking the stigma of infertility, which yeah. is the topic of today, yeah. and like also the child marriage yeah. and uh, supporting girls' violence, education, yeah. gender-based violence yeah. through our fashion and also art. Yeah. Do you know that uh, um, we had made around more than twenty songs? Wow. To support all these uh, uh, issues in English, French, and Portuguese. That's incredible. We are trying to air, air them during you our You also show. got uh, some first ladies to sing. Oh, yes. <laughs> we, had, we had actually the president of Liberia, and yeah. he sang a very important song uh, dedicated to us in collaboration, of course, with his wife, the yeah. amazing first lady of Liberia. Yeah. And also we had the former first lady of Burundi had a song for us, but we have the daughter of the current president of Burundi dedicated a That's song amazing. for us and also we are maybe have the daughter of the first lady of malawi dedicating a song to us wow hey to support our causes yeah you can catch more of these songs on our youtube channel but doctor what is science telling us about infertility because many of us think especially men that it is the woman's problem it's not true at all because infertility caused 50 50 by uh, scientifically male factor and female factors yeah. so it is a shared responsibility and not only the cause of uh, caused by women as people perceive yeah. and always blame women discriminate women and uh, mistreat her because a lack of having children which can be caused by men and by husband and the wife That's so true. our advice to all husbands to uh, support the wives and mm. join the journey of infertility go test it together go to the doctor together yeah and have start build a happy happy family right i've been reading about uh, the work that mark foundation uh, is doing more than 350 doctors being trained from 37 countries wow for infertility specialist and embryology and sexual reproductive care it's one year and two year diploma uh, and master degree from UK University, but also the training of fertility specialists in India. Yeah. Uh, it's clinical training yeah. and embryology clinically as well. Yeah. Uh, but not only that, because uh -huh. we have one more than 1,200 doctors being trained and uh, uh, provided scholarship for Merck Foundation in many different underserved and uh, sensitive um, yeah. critical speciality like diabetes, hypertension, oncology, yeah. uh, pediatric or uh, um, uh, gastroenterology, urology, many, many things. And for some of these countries, those are the first specialists they have. 
that yeah. I'm, yeah. We're making history, yeah. Brian. Yeah. These are the first specialists in many, many countries yeah. in such a speciality. Like oncology, for example, we trained the first oncologist. We've trained the first cardiovascular preventive in many countries. We trained the first endocrinology in many countries. Wow. We also provided for respiratory care and acute care for coronavirus, which is, was fantastic. also the first in many, many countries. That's Almost fantastic. 45 countries, I think. Wow. Yeah. Infertility is a shared responsibility. responsibility. And speaking of that, in Kenya, an incredible story of Jacqueline. You went to visit Jacqueline, her. Jacqueline, yes. Um, Let us see the video yeah. first and then we talk about it. Jacqueline Wende, a 27-year-old young woman from a rural place called Masi in Machakos County, Kenya, tells us her sad story of having both hands chopped off, not by thieves, but by her own husband for failing to conceive even though he was the one with a fertility problem Mandi ndio nilisikia akipanga mlango akiniambia eh Jackie nifungulie niliachana na chakula nilikuwa nakula nikaamka nikaenda nikamfungulia kitambo nimfungulie ndio alinikata hii mkono ikaanguka hapo chini na akanifuruta nikaenda nikaanguka huko chini kitambo ni anguka huko chini alikuwa ananikata kichwa na mikono na uso na akanidunga hapa na kiso na na hiyo panga alikuwa nayo Alipo nitapa nilimuuliza eh hey, kwa nini ngila unanitapa wewe utaniua peke yako akanyamaza akaniambia leo ndio siku yako ya kuongea hautaongea tena maishani Merck Foundation came to the aid of Jacqueline through the Merck More Than a Mother campaign. She was provided with a new home and a supermarket to enable her to earn a steady income and become independent. Like Jacqueline, there are many other women that suffer from infertility stigma. Merck Foundation works closely with partners to empower them to be heroines of more than a mother movement. Jacqueline, I want to know that you are my sister. As long as I exist in the, this world, on earth, my fate is connected to you. Yes. So you have to understand this. You come back to me in anything, I will always be there for you and my room is there. <laughs> so I'm coming. <laughs> That's such a sad story, uh, Dr. Rasha. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm unbelievable, yeah. but I'm it's, happy it's that... It's good that what you did, supermarket, Merck a house... The foundation yeah. has really uh, supported uh, Jacqueline at the beginning of our More uh, Than a Mother campaign. It's actually inspired us to start the foundation and to start the More Than a Mother campaign. And we provided her a supermarket and a house. Yeah. So she's now independent and happier. Yeah. Not happy. Should yeah. be, but happier with a child, complete, yeah, yeah, good because for her. she can actually have a baby, but uh, she's not infertile. The husband was the infertile, yeah, and he was under stress of the community and the family. So, unfortunately, it led him to be violent and uh, yeah. to do this uh, things which is not accepted, acceptable at all. Yes, uh, women should be respected, should be uh, cherished, yeah. and uh, appreciated whether they have children or not as so as men yeah men also should be respected whether they are fathers or yeah. having children or not yeah. because they are human beings and they can be a productive member in society therefore we had a program called empowering burner okay where we are supporting many many women like 
I told you before regarding Uganda yeah. from Tororo uh, and other uh, regions, we had a sm provided small businesses to women who have a problem with infertility or childless, yeah. whether they are of course or not, and now they cannot have children anymore. Yeah. Uh, small businesses like uh, chicken farm, uh, cows, uh, ox, plow, all these things that they can be independent and yeah. have status in the community. That's true. And this transformational. Yeah. They transform their life totally. Absolutely. If anyone wants to make a study about economic empowerment and effect on women, they should see what we are doing. Fantastic. Speaking of uh, what we are doing, we also launched the Fashion Awards. Yes. And uh, I hosted uh, the event in yes, 2019. Yes, in 2019. What was the and reason? We, had also, we hosted also the event in 2020, but it was online. Online, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was so the reason behind the, I that? wanted to uh, create uh, and cooperate uh, and capitalize on the important role of art and fashion and media. So it's not only a fashion award, it was also a media recognition award, yeah. a filmmaking award, a song award, and a fashion award. Um, what I mentioned all. Yeah. So, uh, and to encourage them to um, sensitize the community, be the voice of the voiceless, bring yeah. the silence about different sensitive topics through what people like, yeah. art and fashion. That's true. And also through media outlets, online, uh, TV, and yeah. radio, like what we are doing today. Yes. Through fashion, yeah. which is fashion with purpose. We are raising awareness, building advocacy about today, for example, breaking the stigma of fertility. Yeah. Uh, days before, we had the girls' education, and so on. So we had invited one of the winners today mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to show us what they have done uh, regarding uh, breaking the stigma of infertility, and he had designs for men Fantastic. to wear so they can support yeah, their wives. We need a lot of that yes, men, yeah. Yes, yes. Right? You had already your t shirt, yeah. Yes, so I, I go with that it's to my work, design. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This it's is uh, my brand. <laughs> <laughs> Also, uh, you'll be meeting the designer later in the show. But and we first, have also a designer from Uganda. You forgot yes, from yes. your own country. Yes. She's a very uh, important, a very young talent, important talent, and uh, she has a potential career. Yeah. And she has a fantastic beach wear since we are uh, now uh, summer look. While you're having fun, <laughs> yes. you're still getting the beach message. Beach wear with a breaking stigma of infertility messages all over it. Right. And I personally will uh, have this hat. She's done and. And, and, and you wear it at the beach. And the and beach bag. Right. This is for sure. <laughs> You're going to see these designs shortly. But we've also been receiving a lot of your feedback. Uh, and you're asking us, guys, where are the songs? So, Sunita from the Gambia is here. Take a look.
Sunita from the Gambia, and guess what? Uh, the video was produced by uh... by me, <laughs> by your friend. <laughs> so I'm actually happy with this song very much because it's also helping building advocacy for breaking the stigma of infertility. Yeah. But now, Brian, do you think that it's time to see our designers and what yes. they have done after we've seen the workshop? I think yeah. it's a really amazing. Yeah. I like very much that we have things for men. For more than a father. Exactly. So more than a father and more than a mother. Because but it's before, always us who don't understand yes, the conversation. Yes, the conversation. But also the women are the culture keeper. Mm. And we have to be honest about this. The mother-in-law, the sister-in-law, they should support their um, mm. the, the wives of yeah. their husband or their sisters, uh, brothers. Mm. And uh, uh, keep st uh, stop pressuring on right. them. Right. Uh, and uh, stop asking the question when you will have a baby. Right. Yeah. Right. Because this is a pressure, no need for it. Life is not just about a child. But it's, it's also infertility. There yeah. is uh, um, something very important about infertility. We need to know mm. it is 85 of the percent of the fertility can be prevented because it is due to untreated infectious diseases, which is resulted from child marriage, unsafe abortion, unsafe delivery, mm. uh, genital mm. mutation, yeah. all this things we advocate against every day if it's right. treated early from this infection it will not result to infertility yeah but then if infertility exists it's a condition and it can be managed can be treated but it has to be men and women together to go to the doctor that's why we have more than a father yeah and more than a mother yeah. campaign that's right it's a shared responsibility to help us uh, look at the, the, the designs is a legendary fashion designer and also founder of the Uganda International Fashion Week, Santa Anzo. Santa Anzo. Hi. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> again. <laughs> Who is Thank wearing you, her own are, you. You custom are wearing all your design dress as well? Uh, design. Yes. Which is sustainable fashion, I yes. think. Yes. yes. We just launched this. This is eco friendly. And so local handmade, local made yeah. in Uganda yes. by yes. women. Woven. Yes. 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 Amazing. Very, right. Very amazing. Very amazing. Can I have one for me? Economic growth. <laughs> By all means, <laughs> yes. I would love to have you wear one of my pieces. Thank you. I want Thank one you. for me too. Yes. <laughs> Can you make one for him as well? <laughs> Do you have a line for women? Yes, we launched a new line for men okay. in Good. the same, you know, fabric. So it would be so. great for Brian to have this. So Santa, <laughs> we have today designers, one from Ghana and one from Uganda. They are young talents and they are doing something to break the stigma of infertility and yeah. empower infertile women. Fantastic. And one of them is doing things for men uh, to, to raise awareness about, you know, male infertility and how to prevent male infertility as well, because it's a very hot topic. Yes. And this is more than a father. Yeah. So do, are you excited to see what they have I am. yes I am. they have done I am. All right. so can we call claire 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 is a fashion designer from uganda as uh, yourself yes, so yes, she yes, i'm sure you know her yes she's and a very talented young yes, lady come, do you want come, to claire. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. and do you see that design mm. is a beach dress with all the messages with the hat and the beach bag Nice. It's amazing as, uh, you know, summer vibes and... Can you yeah. talk about it, Eclair? Um, I made this dress with a, a lot of accessories, as you mm. can see. Mm. I used uh, ropes and a lot of weaving, hand weaving, because uh, I believe uh, when uh, men and women come together to work towards the wow. no, stigma, no stigmatizing uh, fertility, infertility, mm, very yes. pretty. it would be... And, and you can here see uh, more yeah. than a father, men are more than fathers and women are more than mothers. It's an amazing yeah. combination between men and women. What do you think of yeah. Ryan? I love it. It can be worn on any um, 
uh, beach day. Yes. Uh, the, the, the cowrie shells also represent the, mm. the history that yeah. we have. Mm. That's the shopping bag. Yes. No, it's a beach bag. It's it a can bag. be a shopping <laughs> bag. bag. Yeah, 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 that is a shopping yeah. bag in Uganda. Yes. <laughs> That's yeah. what we took to school, Dr. Rush, with books inside. It's a lot of things. <laughs> yes. Say no to infertility stigma. Yeah. You can do shopping with a bag or you can go with a beach yeah. with a bag and with a hat also. It's yeah. lovely. Thank lovely you. hat. Thank That's you. amazing. You see more than a mother also on the hat. Yes, it's amazing. That's amazing. That's With special. all local um, yeah, all uh, hand outfits. Hand and uh, Claire, we agreed that you, I, I will get that back from yes. you. And yes. <laughs> yes, from yes, yes, you will. <laughs> yes. So I am, I'm making my wardrobe from <laughs> the whole designer. Yes, and uh, I must again congratulate you, uh, Senator you. Russia. For Thank the you. fact that we are now talking fashion with purpose, purpose because yes. fashion is a perfect tool to actually create awareness yeah. and yeah. saying no to, to infertility, infertility stigma. stigma, I think is right yeah. on spot. I love that we have a very, you know, subtle background, which is how the woman normally is <laughs> yes. suffering in you know, stigma. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I love the little glitters, the <laughs> highlights of color. A spark of yeah, spark thank you. Of yeah. And yeah. all green as well. Which because is that's really what lovely. fashion yes. brings to the table and nice. to her life as a woman. Yeah. Yeah. So this is you know, this is quite it's amazing. Impactful. It's amazing no yes, to thank you. Infertility stigma. And more than a father and more than a mother, which is really yeah. lovely also to, to, to give unity amazing. and share the responsibility between amazing. men and women. What do you think, uh, uh, Brian, regarding Absolutely men and it. women together? Absolutely love it. I think you should do some shots for men to go to the beach. I told but, you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the good thing, we're going to see some um, a male design uh, <laughs> shortly. But good job, good job, uh, Sue Bantu. Thank That's you. Uh, the brand Thank name. you very much. Fantastic. Great, great Claire. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much. Thank you. I think now the time to have our uh, next designer from Ghana, yeah. uh, Dave Boydo. Yes. And he was also winner of our, one of our fashion awards, oh, more fantastic. than a mother fashion awards in Ghana in 2019. And uh, Brian was hosting the yes. wow. <laughs> awesome. ceremony as well. Awesome. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's call him to come. Can you come please? <laughs> hello. Hello, David. Most How are you? Welcome, David. David Boydo and the design. Uh, Brian, this is the first design uh, we have for, for male men. infertility. Yeah. And it has a really ni a lot of nice messages that it's very mm. important for infertility and male infertility is in specific. Mm. So can you just look, for example, here, more than a father. More than a father. Than a father. And in the back. David, uh, tell us about the design. Yes. What is... Uh, okay. Yes, yes, tell us. In, over the years, this stigma has affected women in so many ways, but mm. men always seem to blame women yeah. for the issue. But yeah. no, it's a shared responsibility. It's yeah. something that affects men and affects women. That's men right. always used to blame women. Mm. So right. I have listed down some of the causes of infertility in men that wow. men have no idea about. Oh, wow. So That's if you have been smoking for so long, mm. it can affect you. Mm -hmm. Infertility. And you go and blame the woman. Yes. If you have been using drugs that are not prescribed by doctors, yeah. or it can affect your story. And if you have been putting laptop on your lap, like <laughs> that. Right. Or high, high temperature. That, oh, high temperature. Wow. And if you are picking, you know, heavy, heavy duty stuff, it yeah. are some of the things that can affect men. And yes. heavy metal exposure, heavy metal exposure uh, like so uh, for, um, uh, yeah. you know, so like, yeah. You are someone that mm. used this kind of things Like pesticide, pesticide okay. and uh, okay. oil and gas you. industry. So these are some of the things that men always have to be aware of. This is a very important reason. Tight, yes. And, yeah. and tight yeah. and tight yeah. Yeah. And also the laptop, because yes. I think that's a new most one. Most of us work yeah, yeah, most yeah. of us work. All these ones are things that are fantastic. So men have to be aware of this. And hot baths, for example, if you are in hot baths for so long, if you are in a period that you want to have children, it should not be done. Yes. Uh, so high temperature exposure is yes. very Good. important. There is too wow. many causes yeah. of infertility and things that can uh, prevent infertility. We'll find it on our website and website of the infertility societies in Africa and uh, internationally. Yeah. So I hope that everyone would really have a look on this for men and for women. Also, mm. there is prevention for infertility uh, for women, for example, mm. not to be underweight or overweight, mm. also smoking, too much coffee, too much stress, uh, which we actually caused, unfortunately, <laughs> by the family when they don't have children. Yes, yes. It's yes. also yes. by all infertility. Yeah. Yeah. So we would yeah. like so to... Good. Yes. Santa, Can you what have do you, a, a what walk do you like think? this? Finally, here is the man is more than a father. 
ah. you should be responsible and take the responsibility and deal with it. That's cool. fantastic. Really lovely. Awesome. I think and that this design is quite spot on for the message that is being communicated. I love that it's winged, <laughs> you yes. know, it's winged. because this actually does say the message more mm. clear and than the one. Yes. A, a man is more than just a, a father. father. Yeah. The wings are spread out to embrace his community yes. as the father nice. in the home and, you know, yes. and Amazing. empower and, and say no mm. to female you yeah. know, um, infertility. infertility stigma. Yeah. And yes. we do that a lot. Hey, if you're a man out there and you've been experiencing this, you can also share your testimony with us. S talk to us about how you've dealt with infertility in your family. Yeah? What about yeah. if we have, uh, we call Claire and uh, other designs, so we can have both female yeah. design and male design together, more than a father and more than a mother. Claire, nice. come over. <laughs> yes. More than a father and more than a wife. Yes. All right. Thank you. Fantastic. So it's actually lovely to mm. dresses. I just look at it. Like this. <laughs> it looks good it's lovely and actually matching colors also yeah. you both worked in uh, isolation so yeah, from the other yeah. so Claire next to her design maybe mm -hmm. yes okay, on the okay. other side okay. no, 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 no. you can yeah. come over yes mm. so yeah. it's lovely it's great mm. we are very happy about this and then Brian I think this is a good achievement it's, for the yeah, purpose of fantastic. that uh, episode today. And we received a lot of requests from the social media that they want us to say no to infertility stigma altogether. We should. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we should. We should. Oh, all right. So let's we'll do that as yes. All so right. One, two, three. No, no to infertility no. stigma. No, no to infertility stigma. stigma. Yes, yes to, to girl, girl education. education.